Game start. Or oh, menu, apparently. Dude, two and a half seconds is is the pause time for this? Apparently. It's fucking stupid. It's stupid. Are we are we going? Yeah. Okay, we're going. Welcome to No Nostalgia Filter. It's Spoop Month. It's time for Spooptober Fest. Uh, that's when we we drink <laughs> that's when we the get scary drunk, beer. Yeah. <laughs> we drink the scary beers that are uh, flavored like pumpkin yeah. and urine. <laughs> um. So Budweiser. Anyway. Yes. Uh, we're playing super um, ghouls and, and gobbies yes. and ghosts and, and greedies and uh, Yeah, we're just going to jump in here. So uh, I, I'm playing today because uh, I've never played this uh, because I remember I played the original Ghosts and Goblins and that game was a hot pile of horse ass. Yeah, this is a slightly tepid pile of horse ass. <laughs> tepid pile of horse ass. This is a tepid pile of horse ass. <laughs> But Tepig is a pig. I love how it's like, it's coming. It's coming. We didn't bother to update these sprites at all. They're just like <laughs> zooming in more. Okay. So now there's a demon. Literally my one job I failed at. Yep. All right. Well, you know. Da-da-da! Here we go. All right. So how do I know that like this is the exact path that he took? Um, well, because you got, you saw him fly away. So, I don't know. It's dumb. Okay. Anyway, this is made by Capcom. This is made by a lot of the same team that did Mega Man. Uh, so you'll notice that it's mostly about shooting things and jumping. I'm just gonna... Um, eh, no. No. Uh, those, in fact, are the aforementioned ghouls. How do I break this statue? Uh, you don't. You have to jump over it. I can't jump over it. No, we're recording! You have a double jump. Oh, someone, these guys just fucking There's someone at the door. Is there a murderer at the door? Ah, now ah, you're a baby. I'm a baby! <laughs> what the <laughs> shit? Now I'm at my attack is crying! And crying. now you're, you're a skeleton. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Next time on No Nostalgia Filter. No, just started. <laughs> I got turned into a fucking baby. Um, so treasure chests could be good, or they could have a jester that turns you into things. So I got a double jump. All yeah. right, I could just hang out up here. Just survey my surroundings. Um, mm -hmm. So your jump arc is set, like in Castlevania, except when you double jump. So you could, like, jump forward and then jump up. Okay. Or jump up and then jump forward. Um, what is what is the little statue of me? I think that that's, like, I don't know, score, maybe life. Who cares? Look, look uh, at my fucking ja janky jump animation. It's like, <laughs> yay. Wah! There's a warwolf. Wah! Would you don't don't start with the pun? Oh what you're you're like the pun master. I know. You're dead. See, you can't take my thing. That's my thing. <laughs> I'm not the pun master. I'm the pun masochist. There's a very All right. distinct difference. So I don't know if you noticed, we but forgot you to only start have the timer. three. Uh, what? We forgot to start the auxiliary timer. Oh, uh, Okay. Oops. Uh, professionalism on Spook Monk. So, I don't know if you noticed that you only have three lives. Uh, I did. That doesn't mean I don't suck. So, uh, game might be over soon. <laughs> Dude, my jump arc is terrible. I thought you said they fixed that. I said they tried to fix that. What's so hard about letting me turn in midair? Uh, actually, it's pretty hard to program, believe it or not. Uh, not that uh there's oh, there you go, game over. Well, well alright, okay, next time on No Nostalgia Filter. Would you just stop it? <laughs> we're, we're just starting Spooktoberfest. I know, and it's off to an amazing start. Yes. I, uh, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Would you like to continue? Sure, I'll use my five continues on the first level. <laughs> this is going to be a rousing run of gameplay. So, so uh, this is just as shitty as the Ghosts and Goblins I played uh, as a child. But graphics. But Oh yeah, it's got better graphics. <laughs> but so does my blender. <laughs> oh man, my blender. I need to upgrade my blender's graphics card. Dude, when you, when you get like the high definition blades, you know, that's like living. Yeah, it's, it's great. I, I make smoothies. They're the like best looking smoothies I've ever seen. My smoothies have so many polygons. Maybe that's why I have stomach aches. No shit. Ah, uh, dicks. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I'm over here in my underpants. I'm just rock under this guy. This was back in the day when like there were still like fair use things you could oh, do God. in oh, video Oh god, I'm games. stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this. I, I love the like basket carrier zombie. All right, well there you like, go. He just happened to die with a basket on his back. You might have found it after because. Oh, fair enough. It's like brains, also Tupperware. <laughs> brains, <laughs> keep them fresh with baskets. <laughs> there we go. Also, those zombies look very depressed. You'd be sad too if it happened to you. Uh, I, I suppose I would think that I wouldn't be able to feel anything whatsoever. 
Uh, or at least I hope. You know, that is that is a stereotype. Zombies have re- lead rich inner lives. All right. Well, that <laughs> happened. You know, that's, a, like, that's actually terrifying. That's more terrifying. Like, if you turn into a zombie and you can't feel shit, then you're just dead. So, like, if you turn into a zombie, but you're aware for the whole time, and you just have to watch yourself murder people for eternity, that's some, like, deep, intense inner horror shit. Um, that's why I like it. Did, um, did anyone ever do something like that? I feel like that's a untapped, like... I think that's a You think so? That sounds familiar. Because I know they've done it goofy, like, um, like, what like was that warm movie? Warm Bodies? Yeah, Warm Bodies. Uh... Uh, the book was apparently better than the movie. I never read the book, uh, but I actually enjoyed the movie. Um, uh, okay, here we go. Did you see either? No, I have. I have uh, no experience with the franchise. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, well, it's, it's okay. a feel-good story here we go. about zombies. <laughs> no, ah, oh, fuck oh. me. And you're dead again. Jesus Christ, this is stupid. Okay, so here's the deal. This game is bad. Well, right, but if you get past the first level, I won't murder you. Okay. Well, prepare to That's murder me. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be great. Like, you know. There's there's nothing quite like uh Halloween. This is like trick or treating before they invented candy. <laughs> you know, you just walk outside and you just get violently murdered for being out on All Hallows Eve. <laughs> It's true. That's that's what what they said in my history class. Really? Yeah. Huh. Like that was that was the origin of the jack o' lantern. You had to carry the jack o' lantern to make sure that evil spirits wouldn't tear out your heart. Oh, like the evil spirits. Yeah, that. I mean, that's cool. But I'm sure that people did it just for the hell of it anyway. Well, no, no. The original reason for trick or treating. I'll tell you the story. The original reason for trick or treating is that people were actually terrified of being killed in the middle of the night, so they would ask for respite. Oh, interesting. No, that's not interesting because I just made all that up. Oh, really? You're an asshole. <laughs> See, like I, I knew a little bit. Like, I, like I'm, I'm aware of like the story of All Hallows Day, um, and I'm aware of like how it, it was another sort of conversion of you know pagan ritual and celebration into sort of like the Christian, you know. Oh no, 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 fuck! And you're dead. See, like, I, I got really interested. I thought that, like, you were saying something cool about the holiday that I didn't know. No, I didn't know. You're just an awful liar. Uh, I'm a fantastic liar, apparently, because you bought it. <laughs> it sounded plausible. <laughs> oh, well, considering the way fucking traditions do usually spring up, yeah, that yeah, sounds like I don't know. I, 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 like, I, I don't want that, like, the candy-giving tradition. Ah, why is that one so high? You know what's going to be really weird? Like, uh, it still sounds familiar. Did you kinda, out of chocolate? Well, yes, but it still sounds familiar. I kind of want to look it up and see if you're accidentally right. What, that story? That yeah, you like, like when, you, when you said, like, people would go door-to-door door door looking for respite, and I'm like, I almost feel like I heard that somewhere. <laughs> like, I feel like, I mean, not not necessarily that, but, like, people would have food that they Accidentally would accurate? Yeah, accidentally accurate snake. <laughs> This has been learning with accidentally accurate snake. Uh, <laughs> Koshi, put up a hashtag. <laughs> that would be like the best educational show where like you you have no idea if it's correct or not. Your your homework is to figure out whether or not it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be a great educational series. It would be. It introduce you to fact check. It'd be like it'd be like Penn and Teller bullshit, but everything is bullshit, but possibly not. <laughs> you know, so I have certain problems with, you know, libertarian beliefs. Uh, but I have always loved Penn and Teller's bullshit. Like, it is a solidly entertaining show. Uh, and I'm just a fan of Penn and Teller in general. Ah, um, uh, they're, they're entertaining dudes. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fantastic magicians. Absolutely fantastic. And, like, it, as far as entertaining goes, they're great. Their political views, I mean... I do think that um, Penn did some interesting thing on the U- things on the YouTube channel. Oh, Big thing. Shit. Um, but once again, personally, I have problems with libertarianism. The scariest political philosophy. No, no actually. Ah! <laughs> you have a limited amount of torches that you could. Uh, oh god, what the fuck, bro? This is stupid. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There's skulls. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't, don't you fuck with me, don't you fuck with me, don't you fuck with me. Wait, you get it? It? That's a dagger. Uh, do I want that? Uh, it's a faster rate of fire. Well, there you go. And I didn't want dead. it. I didn't want it. Look at that. I've almost made it through the first level. I know it's only taken three game moments. <laughs> 
Anyway, you were saying about libertarians. I, got I don't even care continue. anymore. Werewolves. Got, libertarians are werewolves. I got an extra continue. <laughs> oh, is that where the term lycanthrope comes from? Lycanthrope or libertarian? You're, you're much better the first time. <laughs> uh... I can make up some bullshit. Like, what do you what do you want to bullshit about? Oh, I get to keep my dagger? Yes. No. I get to keep your weapon. It was like, so we talked about this earlier, but this was the game that you had to beat it completely, and then you got one special weapon, and then you had to beat it all with that special weapon and not pick up another weapon. And it was horse shit. That's annoying too, because you like auto pick up weapons. Yeah. So you could just like screw yourself. The first was like that, okay. too. You needed the shield uh, to the ah, final okay. boss. The thing that sucks, too, is that there's no set enemy placement. Enemies just keep spawning. Yeah, I mean, there there is, but but you should watch speedruns of this. There's a couple predictable places that you can think. I'm, uh, I mean, that being said, <laughs> uh, we are we are about the furthest thing from a speedrun. I don't know, uh, man. I'm like a professional speedrunner. Oh, uh, obviously. I, 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 uh, my master's was in speedrunning. <laughs> like, I wrote a thesis, like, you know, the art of the run. It was all about, um, the most efficient path through life. Is this just, like, gonna be your spiel now? Like, just making up random shit? I mean, you know, like... There I've is a dedicated been. fan base out there that actually wants to know more about you, Snake, the person. Well, uh, lesson number one, I'm a, I'm a stupid lying piece of bullshit. <laughs> uh, lesson number two, don't listen to anything else I say ever. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm interesting in, like, the way that, like, I don't know. In the, in the way that, you know, pure, unadulterated bullshit is interesting. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's something to be said about that. I mean, we have fans. No, that's true. That's true. I'm not, I'm not saying you don't have fans. I'm saying... I that, have fans... Yeah. Am I popular? You have specific fans. Really? I have no idea. About you ah! Dead. <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> Much like you, this game is pure unadulterated bullshit. <laughs> I gotta start all the way fucking back at the beginning of the game again? This is stupid. Yeah, there's very few checkpoints. Alright, so anyway, I have specific fans who love me and idolize me and wish I was their ship Yeah, let's just go with that. <laughs> Well, I'll have them know that for the low, low price of all of your love, I will probably never speak to you. <laughs> you know, I was going to go into this playthrough being like, let's talk about experiences about Halloween. Let's talk about, you know, scary movies that we like. But it turns out that it's just much more entertaining to talk about how full of shit you are. <laughs> I mean, like, that's like one of my defining character traits. Being full of shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I poop a lot. Yeah. You can't deny that one. Is that is this before or after we formed the Mighty Fire Dildos? Ah, uh, no, no, the Mighty Fire Dildos were a myth. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't you remember? Yeah, no, I, I actually remember. People would go around asking um, to go see a Mighty Fire Dildos concert on All Hallows Eve. Uh, um, it was All Dildos Eve. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> God, how do you not remember this stuff? This is like first grade, Angelo. Uh, I had a stroke. <laughs> We shouldn't laugh about that, but we're going to. Well, no, the way you just said it's so flat. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I remember why I don't remember. I had a stroke. Oh, man. You know what would be great if you made any progress whatsoever? You know what would be great if I didn't have to put up with your shit right now? Uh, that would I'm be great. <laughs> but unfortunately, we can't always get what we want. But so sometimes. sometimes. Yeah, you it might be fun. Okay, how do I deal with this, sh this fucking tsunami? Okay, so this is what happens. Um... If you stand on a pillar, the pillar will not go away. On the pillar. Okay, but the jumping is terrible, and this game is horrible, and I'm not having any fun whatsoever. I didn't choose this game for you to have fun. I thought you loved me. Okay, stick. I'm, I'm gonna let. I'm going to let the fans in on just a little bit of the behind-the-scenes magic here. We went. We're like, we need spoopy games. And halfway through that, we were like, all right, but are any of these games good? And I was like, no. And you said, excellent. No, so, you said, can I, I said, can I control my jump? And you went, yes. You can control your jump. I can control my jump kind of the way I can control, like, breathing. Like, you know, that's something I have to do at certain points. It doesn't mean I get a lot of say in the matter. Did you say breathing or breathing? Yes. Fine. <laughs> So, okay, this is what you do. Just 
Um, not sun. Actually, that's pretty good advice. You should. Uh, that's better than anything I was going to say. <laughs> really? Because your advice is usually stop, don't suck. Yeah, but it was better than I was going to say this time. So I'm just going to go with past these, uh, you know, advice. And say you should not suck. This game is horrible. I should be unlike this game and not suck. <laughs> This is I really want to see you in the first level. This is fucking dumb bullshit is what this is. I'm so mad. Okay, here we go. Fast. No. 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 Good. No. Good. No. Oh, uh, uh, Alright. Damage boosting, damage boosting. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're past this. You haven't this. even gotten, like, an armor upgrade yet. I do. This game is horrible. If you got an armor upgrade, you could do cool stuff like cast magic spells. There you go. Wait All for right. it. Okay. Oh, and now there's, like, enemy kill, clam. Kill the monster clam. Giant enemy clam. Clam jam, thank you, man. Oh, man. You know what n none of us have played? Huh. Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. What the fuck is that? That is a JRPG starring Charles Barkley. Well. <laughs> it takes place in a post-apocalyptic future. When basketball has been outlawed. Because of a chaos dunk that destroyed the world. Michael Jordan. That sure sounds like a thing that would be much better than this. <laughs> In fact, I can think of a list of things that would be better than this. Number one, sticking a needle up my pee hole. Number two, literally anything else. <laughs> but number one definitely gets priority. I love how we've graduated from imitating the Game Grumps to imitating the Angry Video Game Nerd. I don't know who the, either of those people are. Obviously. I once envisioned myself as an auteur of the finer arts, and then I'm like, I'll play video games online! <laughs> For some reason I had a severe throat condition that day. Right. Yeah. Me, it, and the stroke. Yeah. <laughs> That's a throat condition. Right. <laughs> What? Are you telling me you've never had a uh, stroke throat? <laughs> throat <laughs> stroke throat? It's just a much worse version of strep throat. No, the strep throat's actually a mispronunciation of, of, strep of stroke throat. throat. <laughs> oh, look at that. I dodged the thing. <laughs> I like how, you know, like, I, I remember in your playthrough of, uh... Fire, please, fire, please, fire, please! Of Limbo, when, like, things would make you upset when they started coming toward you, and this, you're not even upset when you die. You're just like, well, that was unavoidable and bullshit, I guess, I'm just going to go on with my life. Well, because when I was playing Limbo, like, Limbo was both fair and good. This is just, this is just garbage. <laughs> like, like, I have to deal with this imprecise, janky ass- Look at this fucking janky ass platforming. <laughs> Like, I gotta deal with this shit, and this is just my it's life right now. It's supposed to be hard. It's not horror, it's garbage. I mean, that's that that was how, you know, horror was expressed in platformers back in the day. If you had a hard bad. time. Well, if you had a hard time controlling your character... Uh, do it, get up there, get up there, there you go. Uh, if you had a hard time controlling your character, you had to be more deliberate with every movement. Well, there made, we go. And you're dead. Alright, guess what we're not doing anymore? This? This. I have thrown the controller. <laughs> I'm so done. Really? I hate this game Are you so sure? No, let's play Are some more. Are you sure you don't want to play anymore? All right, let's go some more. Fine. Fine. <laughs> I like how neither of us is happy about this. <laughs> let's just play some more of this. I, I was actually hoping that we could get some more AM2R, but if this is actually what you want to play, let's I play. Don't play this. <laughs> this what we're, this what By the way, tune in, tune in for the for another month of nothing but super ghouls and ghosts, fans. Yeah, we're gonna play the same level 772 <laughs> times in a row. I'm sure that we'll find a way to continue being like hilarious. Just like this episode. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. At least they're laughing outside the recording room. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, no, no. This is, this is good. I'm making progress now. Probably. Perhaps. Maybe. All right. Good. So you're finally getting into the mindset, which is just fail a million times and eventually memorize the entire stage. Failure is the first step to success. Yeah, fail the fast. second step to success is fucking murdering your friends. <laughs> I learned that from a post-it note. Really? Yeah. I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Here comes the rage. Good, good. We're getting to the greatest part. I'm starting to get angry. <laughs> I'm starting to get angry. Okay, so this time you just need to make it a little bit further. Um, and then you'll like, like, cause the end of the stage is just about past that waterfall section. Mm -hmm. That, that needlessly mm -hmm. complicated waterfall. The, the waterfall section with the giant enemy clams. Yeah, and then there's a boss. And then there's a boss! Yep. What is the boss? Is my father just coming to tell me how disappointed he is in me? Uh, cause that would seal the deal. That is, would be, that'd be the spookiest. This is getting a little bit too real right now. <laughs> no, it's not. This is great. Look at that fucking slow down jump animation. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Here comes the rage, TM. <laughs> Did you trademark rage? I trademarked rage. I invented it with my soul. It's, uh, it's going to make Bethesda, the makers of rage, very angry. My cold, dead soul. <laughs> Much like these corpses, I too am dead inside. And perhaps outside. And also possibly all over. I wonder if the floating coffins was a glitch and they just left it. Oh, that would be kind of an interesting way to handle a glitch. No, it's probably just bad. Probably just shitty sleep programming. You know something that I hated about this game? Everything? Yes. Uh, but part of everything is that you can never really tell when you're hitting enemies because the hit sparks are so tiny. Yeah. You know what else I hate? What? That I'm still playing this. Yeah. But that's okay, because you know, today is a day for adventure. An adventure in your underpants. This is the glorious holiday of Spoopaween. That's when you take your penis out and... I don't, I don't know away. about you, dude, but the last time that I wandered the streets for Halloween and nothing in my boxer shorts, I got arrested. <laughs> I would love to hear more about this story that's totally accurate and true. Totally accurate and true. Two, okay. True thing that happened. Actually, one thing that I, uh, really did happen, uh, I'm going to say foolishly starting a story before you inevitably die again. Um, uh, one thing that actually did Ah, happen, well, there we go. Oh! Oh! I don't know how that happened, but Neither okay. do I. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't. No, okay. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. No, All right, no, no story for you guys. Tell the story like in three seconds. Okay. Uh, one time I was wandering around in Halloween and a guy pulled a plastic sword on me and I had an actual sword with me and he got really scared and ran away. Also, he was drunk. Next time on a nostalgia filter, Angelo murders people with swords. Yay. Seriously, pick it up and play some more. No. Yes. You can't make me. Yes. Fight me. Do it. Die. <laughs> I'm leaving now. I just, I just want No, to you have to stay here. You need to do the next thing. I know I need to do the next thing, but I'm going to leave in spirit because I hate you. <laughs>